Hi Peace Stage 2, so this week in art we are going to be looking at blind contour drawing. So what is blind contour drawing, I, I wonder? So blind contour drawing is simply just drawing the object that or person you have in front of you um, without actually looking at the piece of paper while you're drawing it. Okay, so first of all, what do you need to get started? So you need your object. You might want to grab yourself a piece of paper and you might also want to draw with a pen or a pencil. It is up to you. I'm leaving the door wide open for that. So I'm going to give you five minutes, whether you're at school or at home, to find your object or that person. I mean, if you're at home, it might be your mum, your dad, your siblings, it might even be your pet. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes to find that object or, the, or that person. And then when you're done, come back to the video, okay? Go. So you found that object. Fantastic, guys. We're on our way. So while you've been finding your objects, I found mine too. Would you like to see? Okay, so this is my object here. This guy is called Fred. You'll notice that through all these videos that all my plants featured have names. So this guy is Fred. I'm going to be drawing Fred today. And you can actually see an example here already of what we're going to be doing. So can you see the difference of my drawing style now, blind contour drawing, in opposed to what my normal um, drawing style would look like, which is something you'll see um, further on as these videos go on through each week. So I'm just going to pop my example to the side and start on, off on a fresh page. While I'm doing that, I'm going to move the camera just so it's focused more on the piece of paper. Okay, I might need to rearrange it a little bit, so bear with me. Okay, perfect. So I have my object in front of me, I have my piece of paper, I have my pen. So what am I going to do now? So look it, put your pen down on the piece of paper. You might also want to just hold your sheet with your thumb at the bottom to keep it steady, because otherwise you don't want it flying off everywhere. You put your pen down on the paper and you look directly at your objects. And you start to make your marks. So you notice with Fred, he's got all these lovely long stems and all of these beautiful soft leaves that come up at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the stems. And you notice that one of my, one of my favorite styles of drawing is continuous line. Now I'll tell you about continuous line. So continuous line is mainly just a line that never stops drawing. It's like its own continuous journey. So, so that's my first section that I've decided to focus on. So, I'm going to let you get started on yours. So pause the video, have a go, and come back to the video in five minutes. Off you go. So, you got started. And I bet they're looking amazing. I can't wait to see. Remember, guys, that you can always share your artwork during your class meetings with your teachers, with those of you that are at home, and vice versa, okay? So now we're going to continue and we're gonna keep looking at our shape, at the shape that we've made of our, our object or that person, okay? And just follow the outline. So I'm gonna move the camera again so you can see a part of my object. So focusing more on the pot now. So I'm focusing more on the outline of my object with my eyes, okay? So you can see. Okay. 
So I'm just drawing out the outline at the top of the pot. And you'll notice that that line overlaps itself. The more I draw over the top of it, you'll notice the more depth that's coming into the picture. Do you see? Just here. Okay. So when you've got your pen on your paper, try not to look down at the paper. Give yourself some trust in, in drawing out what you see exactly as it is. And don't lift the pen off the paper. This makes it more fun. Okay, so now I've changed the direction. that your lines overlap even with your drawing because this will give your drawing more definition and detail. And there you have it! Blind drawing at its best and simplest. So I'm gonna let you continue with yours now I think you know what you're doing. So enjoy the rest of the activity and I look forward to hearing about all the amazing artwork that you've made this week. Take care now, Key Stage 2.